This is example 14 from the supplemental topic involving discrete random variables from your student packet. It says a burglar alarm system has six fail-safe components. The probability of each failing is 0.05. The first part says find the probability that exactly three components fail. Because this is using the term exactly, we're using binomial PDF. So, oops. So we're going to go to binomial, binom PDF. We have a total of six components. We're looking for the probability that they fail. So we're using that 0 0.05. And then we want to know if exactly three of them fail. So if we put this in our calculator, we'll get 0 0.002143. On part B, it says, find the probability that fewer than two components fail. So let's think about what fewer than two means. Fewer than two does not include two. It includes less than two. But these are discrete variables, which means they're only, they only have countable outcomes. So our next smaller outcome is one, and then it's zero. So what we want to do is we want to use binomial CDF because that finds the probability for a range that is um, equal to or less than the value that we put in. And the value that we're going to put in is 1, not 2, because 2 is not included in the probability that we're trying to find. So when we put this in our calculator, we get 0 0.9672. Then it says, find the probability that between two and five components, inclusive, fail. And um, in the solutions manual for this packet, this problem is actually wrong. So I'm going to show you how to do it correctly. So let's think about our outcomes here. Our outcomes are that zero fail, one fails, two, three, four, five, or six components fail. What we want is inclusive between two and five. But we know that the binome CDF calculates for the value or fewer. So what we want to do is we want to calculate for five or fewer, and then subtract off this one or less. So to do that, um, you're going to enter binome CDF using the five, and then we're going to subtract off binome CDF for one. Again, not two, because we want two to be included. So we don't want to subtract it off. So when we do this in our calculator, kind of have no room here, we're going to get equal to 0 0.03277. Um, I'd like to make up one more problem because um, I haven't done any examples where I use the complement. So I want to kind of add, before I do part D here, I'm going to jump to like a part E. And I want to find the probability uh, that more than two fail. So I'm going to write out the... Um, the outcomes again. More than two means that three, four, five, or six of them fail. But the binome CDF command goes with the value or fewer. So I want to start, I want to use the complement, and I'm going to start with one. And we're going to subtract off the probability that we get two or fewer. I didn't mean to do that. So we're going to subtract off binome CDF 
for using two. And you will get, oh, I didn't write down the answer, hold on. There it is. You'll get, um, in your calculator, you'll see 8.64 and then an E negative five. This does not mean 8.64. How do I know that? Because a probability cannot be a value greater than one. So I know that 8.64 isn't the correct answer. The e to the negative five is the same as writing 10 to the negative fifth power, which means that there are four zeros in front of this eight. So this probability is really this. All right, and then the last uh, thing that I need to do is part D here where it asks for the mean and the standard deviation. The mean, uh, just like the last problem, is mu equal to n times p, which would be 6 times 0 0.05. And that comes out to be 0 0.3. Notice I'm not rounding. And the standard deviation is the square root of npq which is the square root of 6 times 0 0.05. And then remember, q is the complement of p. So I'll do 1 minus 0 0.05, which is 0 0.95. And when you put that in your calculator, you'll get 0 0.5339.